So let's create one of these OAS APIs. Now that's just a, we're going to create a standard, very simple API, and it's going to point our HTTP bin. All we're going to do, make it active, make it external, done. That's actually the API running at this point, but we'll do a little bit more. We'll start by creating an endpoint. Let's put a summary in. And then just since we're here, let's add some middleware so you can see the sorts of things that we can do. And it's as simple as that. So that's our API running. Let's just check that works. Now this is just going to send a simple request to the system, HTTP bin, and this returns back what we sent to it. Nice and easy. So let's have a look at what we've done. You can see this is broken into two chunks, really. The top piece is normal basic OAS, just describing the API. And then the bottom piece is the X type area, and that's where we configure type. So it tells type where to forward to, and then other configuration pieces they might need. And what you can do now is you can export this API definition, and there are two options. If you export the whole API definition, you'll send the whole file out onto your laptop. And you can use that as your single source of truth that you store in source control, and then you can update through your standard GitOps type processes. Alternatively, if you're looking to put something into a developer portal, developers don't need all the type configuration. So you can use this export OAS option, and that just strips out the pieces that the developer will need. And we can see that here. There we go. So you've just got the information that the developer needs. And because, of course, everything speaks OAS, it turns into beautiful documentation with no effort on your part. Nice.